Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I know it's been a few months since we've taken any trips or made any videos, but this in this video we actually went to the beach. Um, we just got back. Uh, well, what happened right before we were getting ready to leave? I was just going over the camper doing a little pre-trip inspection, and I noticed and I'd been ta I've talked about this in previous videos that I was going to upgrade the tires, like everyone normally does. I was looking at the tires, and on one of the Castle Rock tires, it had a little cut. And you, the only reason I saw it is because it was at the bottom of the tire when the weight was on it but it was a slit in the side you could just tell that it was it didn't you know it wouldn't take much for it to go um so in panic because i was doing this the day before we left called around couldn't find tires hardly anywhere i know there's shortage no good years to be found so i did just put the spare on it and we just risked it you know it just it is what it is we put the spare and didn't have any problems with the trip when we got back i had ordered some tires I went to order some Goodyears, found some on Walmart and a few websites, but you couldn't find them hardly anywhere. I ordered the Goodyears and got a call that they were actually out of stock of there too. And uh, the gentleman recommended the Hankook Vantera tire, I believe. And now at first I was, you know, I don't really want another China tire, you know, anything like that. And uh, I got to researching it and I decided to give it a shot. It's about the same price as a Goodyear, maybe actually five or $10 more in some cases. The tire has just was just designed and came out in I think it was March of 2021. It's a brand new trailer tire, and they made it to address a lot of the issues that you know have been that come with trailer tires that come from the factory. The tire is when I got it, I was super impressed. It's the same rating as a Goodyear. It's N rated, which means it can travel at 87 miles an hour. If you tow a little faster or anything like that, it has the capability of doing that. And they're made in Korea. Um, they do have manufacturing plants in America, uh, and I think they may do you know a little bit of cross work with them. But um, I decided to give it a chance. It, it seemed like they, they made the tire specifically to compete with Goodyear, and it doesn't seem like they cut any quarters when it came to the ratings and everything like that. So um, ordered them, I got them. <clears throat> you can see them here in the video. They look great. They um, they seem like they're very well built. I looked out, you, you always wanna look over your tires on the inside, um, fill them, make sure you don't see any big dips or bumps where any of the products could be misaligned. And these, I was very impressed just by the feel and the way they looked. So we're gonna get these put on today and then we will be able to update in a few more videos when we go on a few more camping trips this year, see how they hold up. Um, I don't anticipate to have any problems with them, but tires are tires. You can have problems with the good years just like these. But just as an option, I wanted to throw this out there that this does appear to be a fairly well-made tire if you can't find the good years um, uh, right now when we get these changed and we'll throw a few clips in here. You can see us at the beach. Uh, we went back to pirate land in South Carolina. Um, great little trip. The weather was perfect. We went the week of Christmas, I believe, and uh, couldn't ask for better weather. I have a few more videos, random videos coming up here. So I appreciate you subscribing and uh, we'll get back on the road and get to do some trips this year. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Before I do that, I wanted to cut back in real quick talking about the castle rocks if you have one of these campers or just a castle rock these are the castle rock st tires that were on the camper that came we actually put about eight thousand miles on the tires i'm not a i mean it didn't bother me to run those stock tires if i could have changed them earlier i probably would have but it was you know as i said in some previous videos we have insurance you know sometimes it's just not worth the hassle but uh i wanted to say we did have about eight thousand miles on these tires we do keep them covered it's important to keep them covered there's still plenty of tread on them, but camper tires in general, no matter what the brand is, if you let them sit, if you, after, you know, they're only good for one or two years. I mean, just letting them sit and use them, even if you, unless you keep them out of the weather and perfect, they will wear out. So don't just base it off the tread. Make sure you look at them good. Um, but just wanted to drop that in there. If you wanted to know what kind of tires we were swapping out, they were the Castle Rock STs. We had about 8,000 miles hauling it all across the country. So there's that. Thanks guys.